Susan Bowles, mother of the origami killer's latest victim. Maybe she knows something about the circumstances surrounding her son's death. Ah, asthma free for the moment in Lebanon. Good old inhaler in my pocket, just in case. Mrs. Bowles? Anybody home? Hello, little cutie. Oh, you looking for your mama? Oh, Jesus. Mrs. Bowles? Mrs. Bowles, are you there? Oh, shit. Mrs. Bowles? Mrs. Bowles, can you hear me? Wake up! Wake up! I'm gonna call an ambulance. No, I... I don't want to go to the hospital. Please. Okay. You got something around here I can dress this wound with? Yeah. I think so. Okay. Don't move. I'll be right back. Let's see. I need this. And this. And this. I'm here for you, Susan. You'll be all right. I'll take care of you. Stay with me, Susan. Susan, do you hear me? <gasps> Susan, stay with me. Can you hear me? Stay with me. Okay, come on. There, I done what I can. That should stop the bleeding. Well, luckily the wounds aren't too deep. Hey, how are you feeling? You okay? My baby. My baby needs me. Right. You stay there. I'll take care of the baby. Okay? Do you know what to do? With a baby, I mean. I'm a private eye. There's nothing I can't do. <laughs> Her name is Emily. Gotcha. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hi there, Emily. So, what seems to be the problem, huh? Oh! Going by the smell? I got a pretty good idea. Okay. How do you do this again? Not the right way. Okay. <clears throat> Let's start again. There you go, fresh new baby. <laughs> that should feel better. Right, Emily? Hmm? Hey, what's the matter? I thought we solved the problem. I guess I better warm this thing up. Just tilt this ball a little bit so you don't choke. Oh, good job, Emily. Hmm? You're feeling good now, right? <laughs> now, I'm gonna rock you very gently so you can have a nice little snooze. Thanks for looking after my baby. I didn't want to leave her. I just couldn't cope anymore. Just not having Jeremy around. He was such a good boy. I can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Do you take care of this baby on your own? Doesn't Jeremy's father live with you anymore? He disappeared. The day after Jeremy. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe... Maybe he couldn't take it. Ever since I've had to look after Emily all on my own and... I couldn't do it anymore. I understand. Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? Did he leave a note or something? No. He 
left the house without a word and... There was just the cell phone. A cell phone? Yeah, I, I found a cell phone in his dresser. I'm sure it wasn't his. I'd never seen it before. I tried to turn it on, but it didn't work. Do you still have it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's in a drawer in the living room. You can have it if you'd like. I'm sure it's of more use to you than to me. Do you have any family or anybody to help you? Yeah, my mother. I didn't want to ask her for anything. We don't really get along. But I guess I'm out of options. Well, look after yourself. And Emily. I will. I promise. Good luck, Emily. You take care of your mama. 